this video we're going to be talking about EDI and .NET. Is it possible to parse this file, this format, and grab what you need? So in this example, there's a lot of data here, but what I'm going to show you is how you can get the PO number um, and the lines, each line. As you can see, it starts with P, looks like a zero one or O, could be one of those two. Anyways, that's the segment, what they call an EDI, that we want to get. So the idea is to get this file like this, like a CSV file from that data. So you can see here, uh, let me go down to the last one. It's line six. Uh, 696 is the quantity. EA for each is the price. These are codes the companies use. And then there's a SKU here and there's another SKU here. So I think this one is vendor number, column J. Anyways, everybody uses a different values here. So I'll show you a, a spreadsheet, not a spreadsheet, a website that can help you find out what it is. Uh, this, this CSV file doesn't have headers, as you can see, but you can guess what uh, column A is. That's the line ID. And there's a website that I would recommend you guys join. It's for free. And you can see all that documentation for a purchase order or an A50 document. And if you scroll down here, for example, if you want to know the P01 or P01, I'm not sure I'm going to find out right now. You got, you got, scroll down here. There's a lot of uh, rows and loops, segments, but if you scroll down to, uh, let's see, where is it? Should be down here in detail. Here we go. So if you click on in here, PO line, baseline item data, uh, it will tell you like what mm -hmm. position, for example, zero one, it will give you, um, it says here, a transaction set. It's like a, it's like an ID. Like if you can see here, PO one, it has a, a value two. Well, that's the wrong one, P, right here. So one, and then two, we'll start with this one. One, then followed by the quantity. You can see here the next one is quantity. So you can see the position. The next one is unit of measurement. So that's the, in this PO, uh, it's, uh, it's EA. It could be anything. There's a bunch of codes that can be uh, placed in there. To know that, all you gotta do is, I guess, click here in this code. They have 925. So your EDI uh, company that is sending you the A50, they will have their own values there. So in this case, EA, so that's basic. So if you go down next is unit price, unit price, um, the code, the product ID. So if you keep going through here, you'll see the price and then you'll find what you're looking for. So the idea of this uh, video is to parse this file and grab the data. So there's a lot of projects on GitHub. I just selected this one, EDI OLME Labs slash EDI Engine. This is the one that I grabbed. Um, so that's what I did. There's, there's other ones that you can try out. So on this one, here's the how to install the package. And I'm going to show you the project now. So I'm using a Mac on this project. And what I did is, this is just a basic console application. So what I did here is, I have a function here, a method. Uh, what I'm going to be doing here, let me just make it simple to read. So we're going to first read the file. So here's my path for that file. So just a sample, I found that EDI file somewhere in the internet. Just Google um, sample EDI file 850 and you can download one, copy and paste it. So the file is right here on my desktop. Uh, I think it's called this one, sample. That file, 
uh, is this one basically. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. So the method here is basically uh, reading the file, you know, and then just building a, a string builder just to grab the whole string, the whole everything in that file, and then just return it. That's all this method is doing. So once I have the data, the actual string, the file, then I'll call parse 850. This is another one. Um, so in here, it's basically using the same example as uh, here. Uh, let me go back here. When you get here, there's no examples here. So you gotta click on the wiki link here and scroll down and there's this one, re-EDI. So click on that one. And then there's an A50, oh no, this is not an A50, this is a 940 document. You have a 940, but that's not the right document if you wanna read a PO from a customer. So what I'm doing, what I did, it was copy and paste this data, these lines into my project. You can copy the whole thing if you want and see what it does. But what I did is just copy that. The EDI is coming from the data, this data, the string going in there from a string and then nothing I haven't done anything special just copy and paste it and then the JSON if you want to this basically converts the whole EDI into JSON which I'm going to show you right now it basically looks like this so you can once you um, run it you can copy the the JSON out basically and paste it into one of those uh, JSON uh, for example this one is JSON for formatter.org so you can paste it in here and see it it's easier to to follow the the EDI because a lot of data here so what I did is once I had that I started reading so I made this for example you can pull anything out of it but in this example I have export items and I'm passing the interchanges which means I go back up here here you can see here this is an array so basically you could have multiple interchanges here so you could have multiple maybe POs uh, depending on how the customer formats the data, data or it could be that you have here the POs are under actually under transactions but it could have multiple interchanges just in case. So that's what I'm doing here. Just passing that list into this method uh, here. And then, oh, before I go, yeah, I'll continue right now. I'll go back to this. So in the first lines, all I have is variables here. I'm gonna collect everything in this, this stream builder, uh, this delimiter. It's just a comma you can change anything you want and then I want the PO and I'll show you later on why I want the PO number it will be helpful so basically here we're going into levels first interchange loop then we go groups and then we go transactions so inner loop and then once we get to transactions then we read the content that's basically reading going down this JSON file here transactions so transactions that's where I'm this is where the data lives so that's what I want to read so the first thing I want to get is check if my name if the name of the uh, JSON here this property is BEG because why do I care because I want to grab the PO number which is zero one two uh, so that's what I'm doing here basically I'm converting the content into EDI segment and then to the list and since I already know what position it's located I'll just grab it and that's it I don't have to uh, check like check get this data or this or that I just need to get this one so that's what I'm doing here then after that I don't care because once I get the PO that's fine down here is to get the PO the PO one which is down here. Sk keep scrolling. There's L 
Let me see, what is this? Oh, that's an O. Oops. Yeah, so it's an O, P01. So that confirms that. So here, that's the same thing I'm doing. I'm checking if the value is that, is this, line 347. If that's the case, then what I wanna do is grab the content uh, and say, well, my variance is gonna be items. I know that's where my items lived. Then what I'm gonna do is check for null, then go back to the content. I gotta loop through the content because as you can see here, there's a property here called content. So I gotta go through all of this data to get the CSV information. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm also checking for PO1, just this, because if you can see there's L, PDI, PO4, but I don't care about those. I just care about the PO1 data. So that's what I'm doing here. I only care about that. And then you loop basically through it again. And basically you say your value and the delimiter that you that you that you want. So I have a comma here. You can do anything there. And then after that, once I finish looping through the PO1 segment, I'll add a a return line. So it looks good on the CSV file. And then after that, I basically return a string, an array, just two. I return the the whole uh, lines in the uh, stream builder and the PO. Whoops. So up here, when it returns, it returns an, an array. And over here is helpful because if I run this for multiple POs, then I'll have a CSV file f with the PO number and th the items. So for example, uh, where did Excel go? Right here. So this one is sample items. But if I close this guy, I don't wanna save. So you can see here, I ran it a couple times. So we have this one. 0818 so if I go back to the to the EDI file here's the file let's say I do a 9 and save it and if I go run the project run if it goes well oh there you go you can see that that's the JSON that's the first part this part here line 33 gives you all this data in the JSON. So you could do is copy this whole thing and then paste it in in the just one of these nice website that formats your the JSON. But once you have that done, then you can go back to your um, folder and you can see here's the file 98. Today at 329. This is where I'm recording the video. So open that one up. So you can see you have the data. So I'm gonna place the project somewhere in GitHub. The video um, on YouTube will have the, the, the description. I'll place the link so you can download this, this sample project. And it's free. I know there's a lot of other um, uh, components for .NET that can parse EDI files, but it costs a lot of money. So this is a free version or free tool that can help you parse your EDI files. And as you can see, obviously, if you spend more time, you can grab the whole everything. I mean, there's ship dates, for example, here. There's 002. And if you look in the uh, X12 EDI A50 specifications, you can find that what that means. That that value zero zero two so there's a lot of data here you can grab but it depends on what you need okay so thank you for watching